Well, now to the Rebound Colorado. We spent the last several weeks looking at self-care and ways to manage our mental health. It can be a tough time for adults, but it's important we also recognize the challenges it presents for our kids. News Vice Patrick Nelson spoke to experts about how we can help kids cope with everything that's going on. For just about all of us, this year has not gone as planned. Isolation, changes to the school year, financial stress, canceled plans. They're all things that adults struggle to deal with. But it's also having an impact on our kids. Experts say it's something we need to recognize. Exposed to the anxieties and fears that their parents are experiencing, um, they're having to go through some really adult um, topics right now. Dr. Krista Bridgman is a former school counselor and professor of psychology at CSU Pueblo. She urges parents and other trusted adults to pay attention to signs of stress and anxiety in youngsters right now. They're teetering into an age where you're old enough and mature enough to understand some things and you're not you're old enough and mature enough to, to, to not understand some things right now, too. Here are some of the signs to look for in younger kids. Experts say they may be more tearful, irritable, or even more clingy than normal. For the older kids, pay attention to changes in moods, irritability, isolating themselves, changes in weight, and sleeping for long periods of time. So I think a lot of um, kiddos are not only physically alone right now, but they're also feeling very lonely. So anytime parents can can socially and safely um, expose their kids to an environment where they have some face-to-face -face interaction, as long as it's done safely, will be really helpful during this time. Throughout the day on News 5, we'll continue to look at best practices for helping kids to cope with their current situation. Plus, why schools will need to be prepared to help a wide range of students with their mental health when they return to school. Always watching out for you. Patrick Nelson, News 5.